the team here? I want to see Rob in action. <laughs> That's what I want to see. He was such a great assistant. Um, I, I've been lucky over the years to have really good assistants, but Rob is in the top two uh, of the assistants that I had, and that's, you know, Big East, Big Ten, ACC. So he, um, he just brings a certain um, personality, intelligence to, to your team. And, uh, and I think nowadays especially that, that's very important, plus his ability to relate. Um, getting players motivated is as important as your offense, your defense, or whatever you want to play. I think Rob really uh, has exceptional ability in terms of his being able to motivate players. What, what was your reaction when you heard about him becoming the guy here? Back in the well, game? I was really happy for him because uh, when I when I retired uh, in 2011, Rob had to scramble to get a job and things like that. So we stayed in touch and everything. And I, I was just so glad he got the opportunity because it's really difficult nowadays to get a head coaching position and to get one at a relatively young age. I think it's tremendous, especially at a, you know, like UAB, which is, you know, really good basketball. And so I, I'm just really thrilled for Rob that it, it's going to be kind of fun today to watch uh, Coach Eason in action. You mentioned his young age. Does that sort of help him recruiting-wise and just being being able to interact with the guys? Well, he's been a, he, he was a great recruiter for us at Maryland when he was even younger. And um, I think parents, even though he's young, I think parents see the type of person that they – would like their son to play under. And that's as important as being able to relate to the players, you know, with, with the recruiting process, because I think every parent feels that I'm kind of giving my son to you for the next four years or whatever. So I want somebody in there that I can trust that I really feel is in the best interest of our players. Just a general college basketball question. The last six to eight years, People have kind of seen or said the popularity has declined. The game play has kind of diminished. Do you see there those problems in college basketball? And if not, what do you think may have changed with the popularity of the sport? Well, I, I think it's still very popular. Um, I think Gary, you look at the NFL this year, their, their attendance has declined. Uh, their television ratings aren't as good. There's so many options with, you know, the Internet now and things like that that people get involved with at a young age. and. I think it's detracted from a, a lot of the um, traditional sports uh, in this country. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with the game. I don't want to sound like an old guy, you know, that just sits back and goes, nah, I don't it wasn't as good as when I was coaching, you know, that, that type of thing. But the, the game has changed into more of an individual game. I, I think there's no doubt about that. And I think a lot of that comes from the emphasis at early age, say 12, 13, 14, in summertime basketball. When you played for your high school in the summertime, usually there was a coach there from your high school, so you were running the high school's offense, things like that. Nowadays, a lot of these teams in the summer don't practice, so the easiest thing to do is run a screen and roll. And it's become a screen and roll game at the college game. And the three-point lines added to that and all those things. And so it's just a different game now. I, I think it's still exciting, like the national championship game last year that Villanova won. That's as good a basketball game as you could ever see. So. I think sometimes people are too quick to judge and they jump on things and really it's a pendulum thing swing back and forth a lot of times over the years and I think college basketball is still healthy. I worry a little bit about the transfer rules that they do have now. I think that's only going to get worse as uh, time goes by. Uh, what was it, over 600 players transferred this year? That's, that's a lot of players. Uh, and um, hopefully they figure that out. You know, that's one thing they could do. And then players most programs, if they have one guy that goes to the NBA, that's great. So all those 11 or 12 other guys, they have to get their education. They, they have to do what college students do so they can be successful when they get out of school. And um, I want the emphasis to stay there, too. You of the group that says maybe push the season back a month or two months? To try well, to I think they should take a look at that. Uh, I would love to see a, uh, a national college basketball day that would officially start college basketball. You couldn't play a game before that date. Now, the, the, the problem is that no one really knows when college basketball starts. I know myself, you know, I'm looking at, wow, those guys play in a week and, you know, that, that type of thing. But hopefully, you know, that, that's something that could be done and I'd like to see it done and hopefully it'll happen. So you're the old coach. What, what are you going to hey, tell hey, Coach Eason hey. before he starts his, his season, first season head coach? What's your one piece of advice for Coach Eason? Well, I know he's organized, and, and uh, you know, I have his practice plan here. This is much neater than any practice plan I ever met. He's like, 
you know, uh, I usually scribble stuff down going into practice. But I think being organized uh, and having a philosophy, like how you want to play. Like I'm here today, I'll watch and, you know, we'll talk a little bit after practice. But Rob's got his way to play basketball and he's got to, you know, he's going to stay with that. And then you, then you, for, you know, your players that you have, I have a great shooter, I have a great inside player. Then I'm going to adjust some things to that. But, but you never leave your, your basic philosophy of the game. And I think Rob, Rob is tough enough, even though he looks young, he, he's tough enough to have that going for him. And all the great coaches do. When you look, look at the great coaches, they all believe in playing the game a certain way. And I think Rob has that. I think you'll make it out to any regular season games for UAB this year? I'd like to. I hope I can. Um, you know, we can fly direct from Washington, D.C., so that's good. That's good.